Hello, this is Jacques Setro welcoming you to part two, which deals with pickup dress. So let's get started. Let's get started. We'll be needing the following measurement parameters. You know, I've earlier said I'm doing it for a two years old girl. So the measurements are across bar 10 and a half. Half length is also 10 and a half. The dress length, remember, the dress is going to be. It's not going to be like the, what's it called, this uh, butterfly waist that has the pencil. There is no pencil, it's just going to be a one way dress. So the short dress length is 24 inches and the long dress length is 28 inches. So then we have the bust to be 23 inches, the waist to be 22 and the sleeve to be 5 and half. So what do I want to do? Firstly, let's just cut out. So I will determine the extent of our fold for the upper part for the half length is the biggest part between the waist and the burst. So our waist is actually 22 uh, while the burst is 23. So we'll be using the burst. That's the fabric is into two fold this way. You divide that 23 by 4 and that will give us 5 3 quarter. That's 6 less quarter. So the extent of this my fold is okay. It's even more than. So, we just reduce to a fold this way, yeah? So let me pin it down so that it doesn't shift away. Remember the folded edge will be this way. This will form the neckline. What do we do right now? Let's determine our origin, our starting point. Now I'm starting from here. I don't want this. I'll be starting from here. So this is my origin. So, what do I do next? Determine my across back or shoulder. Our shoulder is 10 and a half. 10 and a half. You divide by 2. Shoulder is always divided by 2. So that will give me 5 and quarter. So I'll come this way, achieve my five and quarter inch. Then I could just add half inch for sewing a last. That'll give me five three quarter this way. Then around ham hole is twelve. Around ham hole this way is twelve. For myself is eighteen. So if you don't know how to achieve the round. I'm all or the sleeve or the neckline. I have a video to that effect. You could just go and watch that. So around the mole is 12. I'll divide by two. That'll give me six. But I want to cut on five and a half to be on the safer side. So after joining the back and front panel, I could trim to achieve that exact six. So having achieved that, then I'll go to a burst. A burst is 23. 23 divided by 4 gave me 5 3 quarter. 5 3 quarter, this 5 3 quarter, that's 6 less quarter inch. 5 3 quarter. So you know, this for a baby, I could add 2 inches of lands or 2 and a half inches of lands, you know. If she's growing, she could just, could just be brought out for her. So that's why the allowance is necessary. So after this, I'll now go to the half length position. Her half length is 10 inches. 10 inches. So plus sewing allowance. Now, her half length is 10 and a half. For plus sewing allowance, I'll make it 11. So this is the half length position. Then our waist is 22 on this half length. So 22 divided by 4 will give us 5 and a half. 5 and a half this way. Take the tape through this way. And you could also add the 2 and a half inches on your lands. You could just jump. Then what neckline do I want to achieve? I want to achieve, to achieve 2 and a half inches on the across back position this way, I'll just make it two and quarter because by the time I'll be turning in, 
by the time I'll be turning in, it's going to fall to that position of two and a half inches. So let me just make it two and quarter inch. In fashion, it's always good you are you still have your your measurement is not over. If it's less, you could still adjust, but if it's over, you they, there's no adjustment. So if this is too small, I could just adjust. But with this two and quarter, by the time I turn it in, it's going to come out with two and a half, then it will be okay. On that, then I'll also make this two and a half. So I'll just form the round neckline, you form a sweetheart neck, a coin a kennel neck, or whichever neck you want to form, it all depends on you. Then you slant the shoulder. Also have a video to that effect. So after slanting the shoulder this way, you have a half length to come out this way. Okay, what do we do right now? We just cut out, having achieved the half length position this way. This is the front panel. See, it's having a V shape. It's not really a straight round neck like that. As if it wants to have a V, so you could achieve any type of neckline you want. So you just place this on the back, leave your zip aligned, then achieve your back. Then we now achieve the pickup, 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 or uh, ILO, hotel, or whichever one you want to call it. <laughs> So, I leave an allowance of my zipper here this way. Just make it one hinge. Now I fix my pin so that it doesn't shift. So, you achieve your one hinge for your zipper this way. Then for the back neckline, we want to be as low as the front. So I could just make it, I'll still make it same two, two and quarter inch. Whatever you achieve on the across back position for your front panel, that's what you also achieve for the back panel because you join via the shoulders. You join via the shoulders. So I could just make this two. A one to quarter.
So let's cut out. So, with this, you've gotten your back panel this way. Remember, this is the zip line. This is actually where the neckline starts from. So, you open up for the zipper. So, you have it this way. Now, we're not going to do, we're going to achieve a pickup. So, it's only sunny. I like to say that pickup, pickup, pickup. <laughs> So, see, it has actually even from the pattern, one pattern in front, one at the back. So, it's just this way. Then, let's achieve the pickup. Okay, remember, this is a dress. We've gotten the upper part and our measurement parameters. The full dress length is 28 inches. So, 28 inches, we've actually minus, you minus this 10 and a half from that. And that will be giving you, let me just say 18 inches. 18 inches. I'll include your half on it. So 18, that, that, that means we are left with achieving 18 and a half inches. 18 and a half inches. So of the longest plate. Now remember, this is not the pickup skirt that will have pencil inside or something. It's just a pickup dress. Dress. So the easy way of achieving your pickup dress is easy as A and B and C. Remember the normal way, if you've actually watched the video of the pickup skirts, this is your fabric. Normally, you fold into, you fold into two this way. So after folding into two, also fold in. What do we need to achieve this? You need the words, the waist measurement, the round waist from the half length position. The round weight for this two years old girl is 22 inches. 22, we're going to divide by four. Why are we dividing by four? The fabric is into four fold. And that gave us five and a half inches. And I've actually explained to you in the first video, if you want to know how to calculate, what we want to get right now is the radius. This. So you want to get your radius. You want to achieve your radius, just like this part, the radius of the cone. So I've told you if you don't need any measurements, if you want to use the formula, the formula is on my circular skirt video. I don't want to start explaining that now. But if you don't need the formula, just let's have the easy way out. If you need the formula, you could watch my circular skirt video and you get it. But this is an easy way out. You want to achieve this radius. Actually, what we need is this waist this circular part. So how do we achieve it? You need to know this radius also. You just do a glance here. You can see? That means somewhere here, here, will give us that five and a half. That means it's three and a half. The radius we'll be using will be three and a half. Three and a half on both sides and at the center will now give us this radius of five and a half. So let's just do that. So you just come this way, you are hit three and a half inches. Come to the other extreme, three and a half inches. 
Then you come to the center, you also achieve three and a half inches. Then you connect the points. With this, this will give us our waist five and a half inches. So, having achieved that, what we now need is what? Okay. Right now, remember the longest part of the dress is 28 inches, or I could make it 29 inches or 30. It's not really down till. So, remember, we also have this uh, half length to be 10 and a half. We're going to remove that 10 and a half from 28 inches. So, it's going to give us 17 and a half inches. So, sorry, as to the other, I said 17 and a half inches. So, I could even add one inch to make it 18 and a half. So, let's just achieve that now. And that one inch we figure in for the joining allowance via the waistline and also the underneath. So, I could make it even 19. So, let's just go. So, I want to make it 19. In case the girl grows and will turn out later. So you achieve that 19 inches this way. When you're making dresses for growing children, you try to put a lot of allowance because their growth is always rapid and they tend to outgrow that uh, dress so if there is much land there you could just bring out the allowance and it will still be okay for them but if there are no there is no allowance that means that dress is just over so i achieved that 19 inches round this way So, having achieved the 19 inches round this way, I'll just cut out. So, having achieved you circle this way. What do you do? Just like if you've watched the skirt, pick up skirt video, you see right there how we achieved it. But this one is just going to be with a little difference. You're going to sew this is the back panel while this is the front panel. Back panel, front panel. So you're going to sew on this back panel it's going to have a joining so if you sew on one inch you sew on one inch if you sew on half inch you sew on half inch you just get the half inch measured this way get it measured this way straight down get your half inch and you do a straight stitching
So, after joining Joel, after joining the back panel this way, this is the front panel. So you discover this center, you notch. Then you come this way, try to discover this hand. Then you open her. It's just like. So, this is the half. Discover the half this way. Rule out. Now, this is where the difference lies. Lies in between the peacock skirt that I'm wearing and this dress we're making. Remember the skirt I'm wearing, the peacock type of skirt I'm wearing, it's two panel. It has the butterfly or the peacock itself, then it has a pencil skirt as is achieved in a former video. So in this video, this is just a dress. We've achieved the upper part now to achieve the pickup we are not going to do it as the half length we did in that my former measurements we're not going to do it that way so what do we just do you determine where you want to achieve and we have already gotten that from our measurement parameters the short length we want to achieve for this little girl is 24 inches while the long length is 28 inches and remember how we got our 28 inches we have to say 28 minus 10 and the half, we gave us 17 and a half, and I added some inches sewing and in case she outgrows it. So, what do we now do? We just get to know. So, you come to this point, our half length short dress is 24 inches. You put your 10 and a half to the front this way. Remember this ten and a half, we achieved it on the half length position. So a short dress length, the short part will be 24 inches. So this 24 inches this way. So I'll achieve that 24, putting my ten and a half this way. Or you could just do the calculation and say this 20, 20, Four minus ten and a half. That will give you this. To give you thirteen and a half. So you could just do it this way, either way. So you just see thirteen and a half here. Take it. So after getting to this edge tank, you just try to shape down, make sure those lines connect each other.
So what do we do right now? Just cut out. This center, it's such that your front panel must hang where this back panel ends. So they must be the same. So that's why you rule out and achieve that circle towards the hedge. So this pickup dress is ready. It could be a sleeveless. It's cool. You could add long sleeve. Place of a joint this way, and you have this. You have the type of sleeve you want to achieve. You achieve the type of sleeve you want to achieve. It could be, it could be armless. It could have a sleeve. You could also use, uh, like I'm having a brooch, or you could use a special trimmings. To cover the half length position, to give it a nice, uh, what is it called? A nice look. You could get that from the local stores. You could also put the trimming there so it could have a special outlook. So, this is just you know, an easy way how you achieve your pickup dress, pickup skirts, your butterfly ways, <laughs> your butterfly, your gypsy skirts, or what have you. So it's just as easy as A and B and C. And one quick note, the zipper at the back, remember you could just extend it, the zipper for the back panel, you could just extend it a bit this way, like three inches to, to accommodate our hips. You could open the zipper, you have to open it the back to our hips line. So, so that when she wears it, you, she'll be able to open down to the hips. And if it's for your server, so I remember I told you from the waistline to the hips of an adult, it's around 8 inches. So you have to open down a bit to that hips position so that you, you could be able to wear the dress. So and you can achieve any type of sleeve you want to achieve. Go watch my video on how to achieve your sleeve. So achieving your pickup dress is just as easy as hey and B. B is the skirt, B is the dress. Watching out for more videos. And please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button till I come your way next time. I remain Jacket Secure. Bye bye.